Welcome back, everybody, for another Stefan Dushan of Serbia. Last time we uh, attacked on the Macedonias, and now we're going to go to Shumadia's counterattack. Three swords, uh-oh. In fact, another reason for Dushan's rush to conclude a peace treaty was the invasion of the Hungarian king, Charles uh, Robert. Uh, the shrewd ruler wanted to take advantage of Dushan's army's main expedition and take advantage of the opportunity to attack the Serbian territory. In order to avoid uh, being between uh, Scylla and Char Charybdis, uh, Dushan could only spit out part of the territory gained in exchange for Roman support. Dushan was supported by an army sent by the Romans and immediately turned back to the northern frontier to meet the menacing Hungarian army. On the way, he even heard worse news. Charles Robert had colluded with Stephen II, uh, Bon of Bosnia, and combined Bosnia and Croatian army to join Charles Robert's team. This forced him to rush to the front. At first, Charles Robert had no idea that Stefan Dushan had formed an alliance with Andronikos III. When he heard that the combined Serb and Byzantine forces were approaching, he ordered a retreat to begin. In, in Shumadia, the armies uh, met unexpectedly, and the battle was imminent. Dun dun dun. Alrighty. Uh, Your Majesty, we have scouted the situation ahead. Hungarian troops are already patrolling the area, and the towns and villages are largely under their control. It seems like the Hungarians didn't do much good during my absence. Our current strength is not enough. We can only take advantage of the night to break them down. I think so, too. Uh, so, to, uh, troops are still on the way. Without further ado, let's go. Uh, ah. Here is the Hungarian commander. Oh, that guy, he's not even getting any wood. Oh, we got Sisyphus right here. We already had the uh, Scylla and Cherubdis mentioned. It's uh, all in support of Age of Mythology, I guess. Someone attacked us in the dark! Uh, Hungarian Vanguard. Alrighty. Um, the cunning Serbs. <laughs> Very good. Uh, we have to expel the local Hungarians and take back Serbian land. Ballistics have been acquired. Thousand of each resource. All right, kill the four Hungarian commanders to take control of the area. Your two heroes uh, must not be killed until all the Hungarian commanders have been killed. You initially need to capture a camp. Okay, we'll do that. Um, it's not recommended that you directly attack Kochayeva. Uh, okay. Passage on the other side of the Sava River is uh, basically blocked by uh, Shabak and Belgrade. If you destroy the uh, Belgrade's fortress, Belgrade's defenders will help you fight. If you want to develop an economy with peace and money, you must eliminate the remaining Hungarian uh, vanguard. Okay. So we're hanging around, and there are many occupied villages. The Alman Almanic Guard uh, arrive until 30 minutes after we get our base. So Shabak is located in the bank of the Sava River. Uh, Belgrade... Is occupied. Hungarian vanguards. Charles Robert. More Charles Robert and the Serbian people. The people, man. Okie dokie. So here's one hero, and here is two heroes. You will enjoy a lovely time here in Zikrepost. I guess we'll get some blacksmith upgrades. Elite Kipchak with Magyars. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if we can get maybe some more resources. But I imagine that just getting blacksmith upgrades is going to be quite helpful. 
Otherwise, I'd be like making mostly ranged units right now, and I don't really want to do that with Slavs slash Serbs. Alrighty, this seems to be all fine and dandy. Uh, we have seized weapons. Awesome. Oh, we got some mobile. I'm sorry, Uprising Warhammer. My apologies. Continue to get some upgrades. Now we'll go down this way. Yeah, I don't think we need the rams right now. Serbian militia. Not a Flemish militia. It is completely different. This is Serbian. Alright, so most everyone I think that we're fighting is just going to be Magyars. I think we're going to need to get Belgrade and Shabak. Oh, got some more dudes. Our Vlastelas. What are those sneaky guys trying to do? That's me, I'm a sneaky guy. I am the sneakiest of guys. Oh, we're still able to lay down some good old ranged support right here. Yeah, reducing that armor is pretty helpful when the dude has like a bajillion armor. Infantry armor of the Hungarian commander. Oh, so do we have like plus four defense now? I'm not too sure. Um, you know what? Let's get some cav archers. It's just what we have as far as resources go. I mean, I could get some cheap Slav siege, but considering I have to, like, run around the map a bunch, I don't really want to just wait for a bunch of scorpions or mangonels. Call me lazy, and you'd be right. Oh, did we get any dudes? Oh, we got some Flemish militia. Sorry, Serbian militia. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to save some resources, just because I feel like we're going to get a town eventually. Let's just send these guys over. Be brave, be bold. Be something. Da. Yeah, it just seems like... Wait, attack, please. Hello? Oh, here comes the Serbian bastard. I prefer illegit illegitimate offspring. Thank you very much. Oh, did I make a mistake by getting the blacksmith upgrades? I thought I was going to get, like, Imperial Age blacksmith upgrades. <laughs> Whoopsies! Well, you know, you know, sometimes you make mistakes in life and you just have to recognize them and try and learn from them.
That's, that's usually where I get tripped up, is, is learning from the mistakes. I'm pretty good at making the same ones over and over again. Oh, it's the village head! Look at this guy, he's head of the village. Just exudes power and authority. You got a good stats, though. Shut up, cow. Out of my way, pig! Alright. Last one. Oh, dang, that guy has stats. Is that 1114 armor? Well, I guess that's why we have our Vlestellas and Obuk. Sorry, Uprising Warhammers. Uh, can't rush into the city. Well, I don't see a ton of dudes, just the occasional dude. And our army's pretty good. Yeah, go get them, village head. Oh, those are fortified walls. Um... Okay, now we need to bring the siege rams over. That's why we have them. Let's go get some more knights and cav archers as well. We can also get a chance to heal up our injured troops. Uh, let's also get some pikemen. Get arson, why not? Let's just speed things up a little bit. Videos tend to be pretty long anyway. Interestingly, my shorter videos uh, tend to get more views than my longer videos. I don't know if that's just because people don't like watching super long videos, which I totally get. Or if it has to do with the YouTube algorithm. Um, but yeah, like... Typically, the campaign videos that are in, like, the 20 to 30 minute range do the best for custom campaigns. For the main campaign videos, it's videos I published right near DE's release, which makes a lot of sense. That's when interest in the game is at the highest. And also, like, the really, like, notoriously hard scenarios like uh, Into China or Bari 4. Ooh, castle. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, mega knock, knock. Uh, I hope we win this. I'm like 50% sure we're gonna win this. <laughs> All right, that percentage is climbing. Castle shooting at the Rams helps a lot. Okay. Uh, let's go get this guy. The super light cab. I don't want to destroy anything that I don't need to. No, not the village head! Die, die, die! I'm gonna pull you along too! Dang, that guy has a lot of armor. Uh, okay, that's great. Report to his king, Majesty King. Ugh. Awesome. So, we, we're based here now. You bet we're based, Stefan Dushan. We're about as based as it gets. We're also in a rough spot for placing town centers. Alright, that should be fine. Oh, I missed you guys! How could I? Let's 
get you. We have our 200 pop limit right now. Our heroes that don't need to survive anymore, so might as well use them. They have incredibly strong stats. Let's get that. This. Okay. Um, so I have to destroy the Belgrade Fortress and the Croatian vassal forces and kill Charles Robert. Alright. Let's get a Zupan. A Zupan. A pan of Zoops. Wait, do I have a relic? Why does my gold count go up? I have no idea why. Uh, I can reach the Imperial Age. We don't actually have the scout line, and these Zupons are a bit worse for, like, actually scouting. But it'll do. They're fast. See what's down that way, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Are you ready for my wrath? Hungarian army is attacking us. Well, you want to, like, not? Oh, keep on forgetting the uh, hotkeys are different. I know you, like, really want to attack me, but you can just, like, not. And it's good for everybody. And by everyone, I mean me. Okay, uh, let's get a castle up over here. Vlastellas are going to be pretty darn helpful against Magyars. Anything fun over here? Mm, oh, I guess this is where the Alumnic Guard is going to come from. Oh, boy. Do you guys have drill or something? It's actually macro for once. Just once. All right. We're dealing with this relatively well. They do have Imperial Aid stuff, but we have numbers. And once we get, you know, north of 100 or so vills, we can click up to Imp. Okay, that's no problem. Masonry! Terraform this town, like we do. Wait, what? Oh. Heavy pikemen. Oh, we have, like, no wooden come. Perhaps the, uh, making a bunch of farms and not sending bills to wood would have tipped me off. But no. Okay. 
Oh, that's a navy. Slavs don't have heated shot, and neither do Serbs. Unless they researched it for me already, which I doubt. Oh, you guys are not friends. No. Up. Oh boy. Oh, why are you guys stuck? Oh, please don't be stuck. That's a lot of Imperial Age dudes. Oh boy. Uh, okay, we have murder holes already. Oh, uh, this is where the fact that they are Imperial Age becomes a big issue for us. Oh, boy. Brethren for Serbia! Oh boy, we're losing Vils. We are losing Vils. Oh, the Croats have got upgrades. Okay. Um, I'm not actually sure our pop is recovering. It's kind of staying stagnant, but I am at least in the Imperial Age, and that counts for something. Not entirely sure how much that counts for, but it has to be something. I haven't been able to afford any imp upgrades, of course, but we can go for some stuff. Of course, halbs are going to be critical here. Alright. Don't have much in the way of army. But that is not the end of the world. Apparently. <laughs> Again, it's always a struggle to find space to do stuff, but we're gonna go for that. Oh, wait, there's a relic. Let's get Blast Furnace. We actually have a couple of... Blacksmiths still don't have a mining camp. Don't actually see that much cool. I mean, I guess we have some. Oh yeah, Hadux or Hai Hadux. Okay, gold shaft mining. Get those zupawns. Okay, so... Um... 
Okay, so we can go after Belgrad. That's Charles Robert. Bel oh, that's the Belgrad Fortress. So I guess we can go after that one. Start mining gold over there. All right, let's get this going. Long boats. Oh, it's a condola. Wasn't that the the naval unique unit in the Tomislav campaign? I'm like pretty sure it was. Uh, I don't know. Sabak is pretty close. Whoa! Hello, lag! Please go away! <laughs> No, my monk! Need to keep spamming castles all over the place. Wait, step lancers? Oh, sorry, elite Hungarian lancers. It's a big difference. Closer to 60 farmers than 50. Also need to be getting siege ram. It's got our typical trio of siege workshops. Like we do. I really don't want to have to play the naval game if I can avoid it. Just because it's I, I have a Slav Navy, I <laughs> the, the less I have to use the Slav Navy the better. Sorry. Sacrifices have to be made and all that. Oh, well, I don't really care if they're doing that. Let's get hoardings. Uh, well, let's clean up those dudes. We have units in the area. Alright, let's keep going forward. Okay, that's Belgrade. Let's get elite you guys. I mean, we have lots of stone, so we shouldn't hesitate to spam castles everywhere. Let's also get some traps, though. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, looks like we found the walls of the, uh, the city. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, hopefully this castle uh, will help deal with all of those ships. Oh yeah, they kind of look like the Condoras from the campaign, uh, Tommy Solve campaign. Those are really cool. It was like a trash warship, if you guys didn't check that one out. One of my favorite custom campaigns. Okay, let's just try mining gold for now. Oh, this is a very narrow choke point. And you're making onagers, which is less than great for us. Forward, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, if Red helps us out over here, and we just don't have to worry about Shabak for now, that would be awesome. Because there are only so many battos I can deal with at any given time. This is such a narrow little choke point. Oh wait! Can I just like walk in over here? Looks like I can. Okie dokie. Let's destroy that lumber camp so I have a bit more room to maneuver. Brick lasagna? Oh. Looks like they are taking the long way around. Oh, oh. Well, let's keep pushing. Also, Magyars don't have keeps. These are such cheaters, man. He said making a bunch of campaign-only units. But why do I even have dudes over here? To port the Serbs. That, that sounds, uh... A little too 21st century. Uh, it'd be nice if I had some sort of naval apparatus, but I don't want to just make a bunch of random Slav fast fire ships. Why is my wood income so low? Huh? Well, probably because I haven't rebuilt a lumber camp in 20 years. That would be a great explanation. Okay. Onward and upwards, kids. I do want to get you guys out of ship range. Oh, there's another relic. Oh, Red's going to take it. Jerk. 
I'm trying to be selfish over here. Oh, man. Well, hopefully we can keep going here. Just feel like we're meeting our old friend Brick Wall. Maybe we just need to like take our entire army and reroute it over to not next to the river. Okay, yeah, as long as Red can hold over there. Let's try and get some more traps back in here. But with all of this just like spam back and forth, you can see why Siege Onagers wouldn't even be very good. Actually, I don't even think we have Siege Onagers as Serbs. In case you're wondering why I just don't use them much at all in campaigns, that's why. Okay, looks like rerouting our forces was a good idea. A lot of our dudes are en route. I just need some more lumberjacks, man. I guess all my farms are expiring before I got crop rotation. Unfortunately, like purple, the, the royal guard is, uh, well, it's got a lot of post and Magyar units, which is not super fun to deal with. Here's orange to the west. I guess the Croatian vassal forces are over here. Yeah, there's even a, a lumber camp. to the west. Oh my god! This pathfinding! Why does this campaign have to take place in mountains all the time? Seven thousand twenty-eight HP, but Magyars don't have architecture. There's no such thing as Hungarian architecture. Just don't go to Budapest. And I won't be proven wrong.
Go for it! Oh boy, it's the accursed tower! Alright, be, be my friend! Be my friend! Very good, my father's unfulfilled wish was fulfilled for me this time, and Belgrade now belongs to Serbia. Oh man, this like little island is giving me Siege of Belgrade vibes, you guys remember? Awesome, okay. Now we have a naval ally. Okay, now we're gonna go to the Croats. Oh my god. DE pathfinding was not made for narrow choke points. Da -do. Protect the king. No. It's like somebody just forgot to install the middle part of the bridge. It's like, okay, we got the uh, the two ends all done, boss. Do you want us to do the middle now? Nah, our budget ran out. We're just gonna leave it. Oh, um... Yeah, hopefully red can just be our shield right there. I'm gonna send some vills forward. That way we can... Hopefully we'll have a bit more space to build up over here, and then we can launch our final attack against uh, Shabak. I wonder what Civ the Croats are. I mean, I guess to all appearances they're Slavs, but they're training Magyar- or playing Zupons. And they have Bracer. I have all the blacksmith upgrades, actually. Alright, let's keep on trucking. Fall back a little bit. Hopefully those villagers get here soon. That would be really helpful. Yeah, we also really don't want the Belgrade Fortress to fall because I don't want to have to deal with taking them out again. Brick lasagna? All right. I don't think there's anything over there. So we can repair you. Get our trio of siege workshops. Okay, get our production going. Boy. 
Go get him. Key groups. Oh, you guys are attacking from over here. Did not realize that would be a thing. Not that I'm complaining. up to the north because we are running out of stuff very fast let's rehockey our castles a little bit Having this forward production is super duper important. Uh, Serbs, if uh, Aztecs had halves, it's got that plus eight attack. Oh yes, Magyar Kipchaks. Feels good, man. Right, Siege Ram Brigade has arrived. Does Yellow resign if I take out Boiple? Come before me, but I won't let you do something easily. Don't give in to you easily. There we go. Oh, well, you're not giving in to me easily, which is a little annoying. Go, get him! Your elite Hungarian lancers. How dare you hurt me? Well, too bad. Oh, wait, I have to defeat yellow anyway. Whoops. There goes Charles the First. Oh, we're actually out of stone at this point. You guys can mine some then. Yeah, this is looking like it could be a two-part video. 
not exactly dealt with yellow yet, especially if they rebuild stuff. Yeah, just more resources over there. Still, we're making progress. Hey, you want to, like, not? There we go. Oh, here comes Orange again. Wait, what? Weren't you already attacking that? I can go ahead and get faith. If they're using monks against me. Makes a lot of sense. Retreat! We shouldn't have been following Charles Robert. No, you shouldn't have. And I'm afraid you had to learn your lesson the hard way. Oh, yo, you want to not take that relic? I know I'm not going to take the relic, but I don't want you to have it. Why do I hear the doo-doo sound? It's even over here. I don't know. No, attack that. Uh, why don't you guys come over here? Get some more forward production. But no, stop it. Um, gold is looking a bit scarce. That is one tanky castle. Yeah, I still have the cheaper siege, which is something. Oh. <laughs> Didn't expect you guys to come this way. Okay, gate's down. Perfect. big this is. We might be able to finish this in one part. If we uh, get a move on.
Okay, I guess the fortress doesn't go all the way to the edge of the map, which is good. By the way, uh, Shabak is in Dracula 5. It's the fortress we need to free for the, uh, the Magyars. This time we have to tweak it from the Magyars. Onward and upward. Yeah, let's see how far the back this goes. Okay, it only goes over here. There we go. Shotback has completely surrendered, or been completely captured. I'll see how Charles Robert handles the counterattack. It's impossible. I didn't expect that my hegemony would encounter setbacks and Shabak. It's a new show, Setbacks and Shabak. Our plan to take Serbia has failed this time. Stefan Dushan, don't think that uh, you'll win forever. Whatever you say, the territory of Serbia, neither the Eastern Romans nor you are our opponents. On the field of Shumadia at... First, Charles Robert's royal army crushed Dushan's forward in a head-to-head -head battle, but after this, Dushan's cavalry in the narrow area divided into several raids against the pursuing Hungarian army, led to a rout of the Hungarian army, and retreated north of the Danube. It is said that the countless people drowned during the escape. Even the Hungarian king Charles Robert uh, himself was shot and narrowly survived. As a result, the Hungarians lost the newly conquered Machva and Belgrade, but Stefan Dushan's army was also exhausted, so he decided to go home and focus on domestic affairs. The settlement of conquered territories was carried out in an orderly manner, and the new lands were distributed according uh, to the borders of the new of the states. Although the lords of Serbia or the kingdom of Serbia was sent to serve in the new territories, um, the privileges and customs of the new territories were respected from the king. Stefan Dushan's goal was very clear. He was trying to build a Roman-style universal empire to control and govern a multiracial and multi-ethnic mixture on a centralized basis. Three years later, Stefan Dushan uh, published Dushan's Code, which aimed to combine the best elements of Byzantine Empire law with Serbian national customs, providing a solid legal basis for the goals and power of the Serbian Empire. Even now, I have to admit, Dushan was an excellent king. Good stuff. We actually had a positive KD. Who would have thought? Uh, I guess there were just some random dudes over here. Oh, we could have found some Gaia units over here. That's something, I guess. Other than that, we pretty much did everything there was to do. Anyway, guys, that was Shumadia's counterattack. See you guys next time for John against John.